Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range. With my next installment on, this is your opportunity to see me make a complete fool of myself. What we're going to try and do today is we're going to try and demonstrate the sporting application. And it ain't going to be with that. The sporting application of the shockwave. Now the shockwave is a 14 inch barrel. This one's in 20 gauge. 14 inch barrel pump shotgun, pistol, uh, firearm, or whatever. And the ATF has ruled that you can put this on it. Arm brace. All right, so we're good there. The thing of it is, the shockwave is well accepted as being a defensive firearm. Home defense, vehicle defense, anti-burglar, you know, uh, you know, whatever you want to use it for, entry gun, stakeout gun, whatever. Um, and it works pretty good for that. Question is, can you use shockwave for, let's say, bird hunting? Or, you know, you put a plug in it where the magazine only holds two, and then you can take the thing bird hunting. Uh, or rabbit hunting, or squirrel hunting, or whatever that you would use a 20-gauge or a 12-gauge shotgun for. So, I'm going to get me a pocket full of... Shooty shot, shotty shoot num nums. I've been watching Donut Operator, I, you know. Or shotgun, shotgun uh, food. And we're going to see if we can't uh, break one. So I'm going to load this guy plumb all up and everything. or with enough to prove or disprove that you can do this. All right, here we go. Go ahead and pull it. Uh, that's one broken clay pigeon at about 40 yards. Okay, go ahead and pull it. Uh, that one got away. Pull it. Woo! Alright. Pull it. And got away and the water went right by it. Go ahead. Oh, let's try that one more time. Let's try that. Let's try that one more time. Wait a minute, what was that? Look at that. Uh, heavy field. Okay. Let's try something else. But it's about two, three, four, five. That all good. Thing of it is, I've never been able to catch myself breaking the clay pigeon on on video, so we're going to try it again. Okay, pull it. Yeah. Pull it. Pull it. You got away. Pull it. You got away. See if we can put one more up there where it'll get away too. <laughs> All right, so what have we demonstrated with this charade? We've demonstrated that a 14 inch barrel cylinder bore shotgun, typically the shockwave, or probably attack 14 as well. Uh, once you've got the stabilization of this on there, uh, you can actually do pretty good with it. Now, we're breaking them clays at hmm, 25, 35 yards. So, that tells me that at 25, 35 yards, you kill a rabbit with this without any trouble. Uh, you know, if you're out grouse hunting, you know, uh, you could probably... I tell you what, 
one of the things about hunting gr grouse in the woods is when you swing that shotgun around, there's always a tree or something in the way, you know. And this guy you might do a little bit better with. Uh, Kentucky hunting regulations would apply. Two in the magazine, one in the chamber, total of three. So you'd have to have a plug. Uh, and you know, you could take it to a good gunsmith and have this barrel recessed and put you uh, choke tubes in it, you know, and make it even better. So, uh, it would be a little bit radical to show up in a dove field with one of these guys, but when it comes right down to it, uh, I think I've demonstrated or we've demonstrated that this gun actually has a legitimate sporting purpose as well as, as uh, you know, the normal tactical applications, home defense, personal defense, and so forth. Well, anyway, that's a little demonstration video. I thought we'd get out here and try and do it for you. Uh, like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door so I can go buy me some shotgun shells. Uh, if you take a notion not to, uh, that's fine. I keep right on making content for you. Well, all right, then. We'll see y'all when we see you.